Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over how to apply multiple sorting rules in Excel. So here I've got some expenses by, by the date, by name, vendor, and amount. So I've got multiple fields here that I could sort by. Now in Excel it's really easy to you know just apply a simple sort. If I wanted to sort by let's say the name, let's select the name field here, sort in ascending order. Let's say I want to sort by the vendor, let's say this one in, in descending order. You know, easy to apply uh, these type of sorts. But let's say you want to do something a bit more complex. Like let's say I want to sort by name, then the vendor, and then the amount. So this is where it might be a little counterintuitive in the sense that you might be thinking, okay, let's sort by name, then vendor, and let's say the amounts I want from largest to smallest. You know, as you can see, it's not, it doesn't look sorted at all. In this case, there's a, a mismatch of, of, of order here. The only thing that looks consistent is that we've got the amounts sorted um, from from largest to smallest. Now the key thing to remember is when you're applying multiple sorting rules in Excel is you basically want to work backwards. So in the first go of it I, I went uh, sorted by name then vendor then amount because that's how I wanted to, to break it down by name, vendor, and amount. But if that's how you want to do it you actually want to take the opposite approach and go from the opposite direction. So because I wanted to sort by name first, that's the last field that I should apply a sort to. And the second field, a vendor, that'll be the second one that I apply a sort to. And the amount, that'll be the last field that I wanna sort by, that should be the first one that I actually do a sort by. So in this example, I, I just finished uh, sorting the amounts by, by descending order, so that's not gonna change. But now I'm gonna work backwards and say, okay, vendor, that's going to be ascending order, and then name, that's going to be ascending in order. And now, now you see, now we've got it sorted properly, where we've got the name, and then within that we've got the vendor, and then within that those amounts are now sorted from largest to smallest based by on vendor. Move to the same vendor, for a different vendor, for the same person, again the resorting has reapplied, largest to smallest. Again, another vendor, largest to small. So now the sort is being applied properly because I went backwards from amount to vendor, then name. So even though I wanted name, then vendor, then amount, when I'm actually applying the sorting rules, I want to work backwards and say amount, vendor, and name. Now the one thing you can also do is there's an option here um, to click the sort button where you can actually apply your rules. So in this case, we're going to sort by name, sort in cell values, A to Z, add another level, this time vendor, A to Z, add another level, amount, and let's say this one, I want largest to smallest. So this is the same sort of thing um, as, as I was doing now, as I was doing previously. The difference is here, you can visually see how you want to sort. So you first want to sort by, by name, then vendor, then by announce amount. So this might be a bit easier in terms of organizing um, your logic and how you want it to, to work. So now if I hit OK, I should have the exact same order, which is correct. So I'll try to reset this just to mess it up. Let's sort by date again. There we go. And now go back to the sort. Now you can see the sort is gone because I've resorted everything, so it's reset. So now it's again, let's go by, by name, then add a level, vendor, and then amount largest to small. So now I'm reapplying uh, the rules that I had before. Now if I hit OK, now you can see now I've got that sort back to how I did it manually. So there's two ways you can go about doing it. One is working backwards. The other is by using the sort button here. And the benefit of doing the sort button is, you know, you, it's maybe a bit easier to, to follow the logic than to try to remember, you know, what the next field is, especially if you're going backwards it might be a, a bit less confusing to do it this way. But as you can see, it's not terribly complicated to do it in, in Excel if you need to sort by uh, multiple rules. It's just a matter of what's, what's easier for you to do, whether it's working backwards and applying the sort or going through the sort options and visually doing it this way. So that's how you can apply multiple sorts in Excel. 